For today's video, we are going to talk about how to multiply rational algebraic expression. So when we say multiplying rational algebraic expression, the product of two rational expression is the product of the numerator divided by the product of the denominator. So in short, we simply multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. In symbol, we have a over b multiplied by c over d equals a times c or ac over b d that is b times d where b d is not equal to zero so let's start and let's multiply algebraic expression on number one we have 10 uv square over 3x y square times 6x square y square over 3u square v square so the rule in multiplying rational algebraic expression is we simply multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So let's have 10 u v square times 6 x square y square over 3 x y square times 3 u square v square so before we multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator we are going to find coefficients or variable that can be written in simplest form so 6 and 3 can be written in simplest form because the greatest common factor of 6 and 3 is 3 so 6 becomes 2 and 3 becomes 1 then we can cancel v square and v square. Also, we can cancel y square. So therefore, we have 10 u times 2x square over 3x then u square. What else? So we can cancel x square and x because the greatest common factor of x square and x is x so x becomes 1 and x square becomes x then u and u square the greatest common factor is u so u becomes 1 and u square becomes u so therefore 10 times 1 is 10 times 2 times x is 2x over 3 times 1 is 3 times u. So therefore, our final answer is 10 times 2x is 20x over 3u. So this will be our final answer. What about number 2? a square minus b square over 2ab times a square over a minus b. So let us write a square minus b square times a square over 2ab times a minus b. So as you can see, a square minus b square can be written as a plus b and a minus b because the factors of a square minus b square that is a plus b and a minus b so therefore we have a plus b times a minus b times a square over 2ab times a minus b so we can cancel a minus b then we're going to have a plus b times a square over 2ab also we can simplify a square and a because the greatest common factor of a square and a is a. So a becomes 1 and a square becomes a. So therefore, we have now a plus b times a over 2 times 1 is 2 times b. Then, we are going to, this to use distributive property to simplify our answer. So a times a is a square. Then a times b is 
AB or BA over 2B. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. What about the number 3? We have x squared minus 3x all over x squared plus 3x minus 10 times x squared minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 6. So before we multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator, let's find or let us find the factor of each expression on the numerator and denominator. First, x squared minus 3x. So the greatest common factor of x squared minus 3x is x. Then, x squared divided by x is x. Negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. So this will be the factor. What about x squared minus 4? So the great uh, factors of x squared minus 4, factors of x squared, that is x, then two numbers, if you multiply, you can get negative 4. If you add, you can get 0. That is positive 2, negative 2. So this will be the factors of x squared minus 4. What about x squared plus 3x minus 10? So since the value of a is 1, we're going to have factors of x squared, that is x, and x. Now, two numbers, if you multiply, you can get negative 10. If you add, you can get positive 3. So that is positive 5, negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 5 plus negative 2 is positive 3. So this will be the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 10. Then, what about x squared minus x minus 6? So we, since the value of a is 1, we can easily find the factors of this expression. So the factors of x squared is x and x. Then, two numbers. If you multiply, you can get negative 6. If you add, you can get negative 1. So that is negative 3, positive so to check, negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So this will be the factor of x squared minus x minus 6. So let us simplify. We have x squared minus 3x, that is x times x minus 3 over x squared plus 3x minus 10, that is x plus 5 times x minus 2 multiply by x squared minus 4 that is x plus 2 x minus 2 over x squared minus x minus 6 that is x minus 3 and x plus 2 then let us simplify let us multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So we have x times x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 all over x plus 5 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 then times x plus 2. Now, what are the expression that can be written in simplest form? So we can cancel x plus 2 and then x minus 2, also x minus 3. So therefore, our final answer is x over x plus 5. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. What about on number 4? On number 4, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 over y squared minus 2y plus 1 times y squared minus 1 all over x squared minus 1. So before we multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator, let us find the factors of the numerator and denominator. First, x squared plus 2x plus 1. So what is the factor of this expression? 
So the factors of x squared is x and x. Then two numbers, if you add, you can get positive 2. If you multiply, you can get positive 1. That is 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. So this will be the factor. Then y squared minus 1. So that is sum and difference y then negative 1. If you multiply, you can get negative 1. If you add, you can get 0. That is positive 1 and negative 1. So this will be the factors of y squared minus 1. What about y squared minus 2y plus 1? So the factors of y squared is y. Then two numbers. If you add, you can get negative 2. If you multiply, you can get positive 1. That is negative 1 and negative 1. To check, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So this will be the factor of y squared minus 2y plus 1. Then, x squared minus 1. So just like in y squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 and x minus 1. So therefore, let's substitute this factor to our equation. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1, that is x plus 1 times x plus 1, over y squared minus 2y plus 1, that is y minus 1 and y minus 1, multiply by y squared minus 1, that is y plus 1 times y minus 1 over x squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 times x minus 1. Then, let us multiply both numerator and both denominator. So we have x plus 1 times x plus 1 times y plus 1 multiplied by y minus 1 all over y minus 1 times y minus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. So now what are the expression that can be simplified or that can be cancelled from numerator to denom and denominator? So that is x plus 1 and x plus 1. Then y minus 1 and y minus 1. So therefore, we're going to have x plus 1 times y plus 1 over y minus 1 times x minus 1. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. What about a squared minus 2ab plus b squared all over a squared minus 1 times a minus 1 over a minus b? So again, let us find the factors of the numerator and denominator. So this expression a squared minus 2ab plus b squared has factor that is a squared, that is a and a. Then b squared, that is negative b and negative b. So the factors of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is a minus b and a, plus a minus b. Okay? What about a squared minus 1? So a squared minus 1. So that is a plus 1 and a minus 1. So let us rewrite a squared minus 2ab plus b squared as a minus b and a minus b. So we have a minus b times a minus b over a squared minus 1, that is a plus 1 and a minus 1. Multiply by a minus 1 over a minus b. So let us multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So we have a minus b times a minus b times a minus 1 times a plus 1 times 
a minus 1 times a minus b. So let us cancel a minus 1 and a minus b. So therefore, a minus b over a plus 1. So this will be our final answer. So I hope you learned from this video. Thank you so much and see you again next time.